if you see any kind of uncompromising shots where Pete's got his legs between my legs or something like that, if you could just take a photo for me with my camera. Just anything that I'll have a chuckle about at some later date. So yeah, we, we split the vocabulary down to kind of three different sections. Simple, off with technique, medium, and then advanced. And then sort of as you progress through the grades and probably how steep and overhanging the roots are, then you kind of go through those different types of um, moves or, or levels of vocabulary as such. It's just a proper off with this geek terminology. There's about three of us in the world that actually understand it and I think that'll be all all what yeah, that Yeah, everybody would just forget it after a while. Yeah. But what can you do? Never destined to be popular. No. 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 The First already. off is armbar. Armbar. Everybody knows an armbar. Yeah. So if you if you're the crack, an armbar there is with your palm faced on one side, elbow on the other side, and you're kinda of like this far into the crack. You're normally doing this on the side. Um, it's if, if you want to go upwards, then you go like that. Oh yeah, you can rotate it around. <laughs> so it's like sort of rotating. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's an open technique. Lots to do. It sounds really simple. Hardly anyone ever uses it properly. Um, and you hurt your elbow. Yeah. If you're hurting your elbow, you're right. And if you're hurting your shoulder, you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I did for years. <laughs> yeah. A chicken wing is basically a stationary position of the arm. Arm bars to move on, chicken wings to rest on, in general terms, that's how I'd put it. And you basically, go like that, put it in the crack like that, uh, with your elbow pointing to the sky, and your palm facing downwards, and then you can rest. You yeah. can't really move like Perfect. that, or else it gets stuck. No, don't do that too much. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting turned on then. <laughs> that's a chicken wing move on. <laughs> chicken wing hard on. What's that? <laughs> uh, probably the most basic foot technique to use in an off width is either, well, I think it was called heel towing originally, heel but towing. Pete came up with bananaing. I don't know why. Probably because it looks like your foot looks like a banana in the crack. And so if you give me a bit of crack. Alright. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so what you do. Well, it's pretty self-explanatory. So your heel toe, so your heel toe is across the crack, like that. Perfectly yeah. illustrated. Oh yeah, turn it just right. Yeah. And if you're pulling it really hard, then your foot tends to banana like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did that hurt? No. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, and that's the heel toe. Okay, so knee scum is middle of body technique. Uh, I with your knee also get a little bit of hip involved. And essentially all it is, is when you're in a wide crack like this, is that you're turning that knee in to get a small amount of friction on the inside of the crack. Generally, it comes towards last resorts. It's all going a bit wrong. It's a terrible bit of your body to try and get a bit of friction out if you're trying to make up for progress, but it's just, yeah, it's your best measure and you normally end up with a few scabs. And we put it in beginner techniques because even if you're advanced off with it, you're being a beginner when you're doing that. Yeah. So the, the randy hump is basically when it all starts to go wrong. Um, it's not really a technique, it's more of a, a dictionary term for when, for when you, basically when you start to make two inches progress down opposed to like one inch up. So you're going two inches down for every one inch you go up. It's just, it's a losing battle, you'll never win. Yeah, um, I'm, I don't think I want to be the crack on this. I think you should air hump. <laughs> Air around your hump. Show the position of what you'd so be you'd be in. So you'd be in an armbar and on the arete, knee in, and you'd, you'd be like that on the edge. With that leg, that, that outside foot won't be doing anything. It's just all gone to pot. You're just humping the arete. You're just going on the arete. It's, it's like an, it's like arete climbing, basically, with no holds on the arete. With the worst possible technique. Yeah. It's when the outside foot stops being used. I think that's the... Yeah. Uh, so... Yeah, cow fisting or hunting for dung. Oh, how should I? You can do different, two different standards for it because, you know, if the kids are around like that. So if you give me a crack. <laughs> Stop saying, can you give me a crack? <laughs> Turn it around so we can see it. There you go. Okay, so you've got a long, deep crack and we're trying to find, it's, it, normally it's a little bit flared so you can't get anything on the outside there. 
and it's essentially you're either fisting a cow or you're hunting for dung and you know whatever way you put it and you're reaching into that crack but you're going right to the back right up to your armpit there trying to find that that jam at the back normally what you do on desperate rounded top outs um, go for a deep fist jump it's yeah. basically a deep fist jump it's not really a, it is kind of you're in an off width but you're reaching for the you end up doing it a bag. lot on off widths yeah. because you can't find a other type of technique. You can't, get your, knee, you can't get your knee in to get a stack or something. A power pivot is where you're either in double foot jams um, or a stack, hand stack, and you basically, you either cut loose on your foot jams and swing ground your feet into another stack or cut loose on your stack and swing your feet round into some more foot, foot jams. So basically you'd be on the floor in your foot jams like that you'd sit up to your stack I can't sit up because I'm not strong enough and then you cut loose and then you put your feet the other side like that yeah, yeah what wide pony is uh, bait the probably the most basic roof off with technique where you get both feet in above your head so you're above the crack both feet that, let me get established. In above, heel towing, and then you're sitting up and you're getting some kind of stack between your feet. A bit like riding a wide pony upside down. Yeah. And that's, yeah. That's a wide pony. So if you imagine this is in a roof crack, you've got your feet frogged out, riding your wide pony, and then you're hanging upside down, obviously off your feet and that's where you're sitting up and then doing that stack between your hands like that so you can have really kind of minimal ones where you're right on the edge of the crack or really deep where you're reaching right up or higher in for the stacks real deep uh, a knee lock is basically where you're trying to what are you trying to do you're trying to you're trying to move your hands no trying to free your hands by getting a knee in like sitting on your knee and trying to advance your stack so basically what you do you put your knee in like that, and then you pull your leg out, make a bit of a froggy foot on the edge. Like that. Yeah, and then basically that bit expands with a bit of when you pull your knee out like that expands. Yeah, that's a knee lock. In the midway off with techniques, you've got I think three different types of stacks. You've got hand hand, which is generally known as butterfly. Uh, you can also stack your hands that way as well, but you don't use that quite so often. And then you've got hand fist stack, and those can be altered in slightly different ways where you've got a, a palm you're doing most of the action, and then another one where you've got the fist doing much, most of the action. And then finally, you've got a double fist stack, which can be done crossed, straight on like riding a bike, or if you're getting really advanced, you get the old Varden grip out, get the two pinkies crossed over like the pro golfers, really nice, thinner double fist stack there. Barney pivot, it's kind of like a got a foothold on the edge. So what it is, is you put, a, you put a knee bar in the crack where you can't make any further progress. So that becomes essentially your stack or your arm bar or your chicken wing. And then you're rotating round your own knee bar. So essentially the knee bar forms a, a way of moving through a part of the crack that you can't move through any other way. So it's, it's, like, a, a, it's like an advanced knee lock. Yeah, it's an advanced knee lock or, a, or an advanced power pivot, but you're doing it off, off a knee bar. It's harder when it's in a roof because the knee lock falls out. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just do trout tickler. Okay, go on. Okay, so a trout tickler is when you're jamming against some other part of your body. So it can either be a stack or usually it's a hand or fist jam. Hand jam is the best example of a trout tickler. So you'd be you'd be invert with your legs in the crack like that. And then it'd be too wide. So you'd have to jam against your own leg and against the crack. And it's it's kind of like how you catch trout. It's like your legs the trout and you're tickling it. You're tickling it up there. <laughs> you gotta get it in. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> We've caught it. <laughs> this is a flying pirate one. It's basically when you invert and the and it the cracks like that on the lip. Oh you, yeah, I just have to the, explain that one. I'll kind of show you a bit of it. But um so as we when we got onto the more advanced off with techniques, for some reason we came up with this kind of whole pirate theme, mainly because when we were doing the hard ones, you just started shouting like a pirate and it, it kind of got down that theme. Um, and 
So the first one we came up with was a flying pirate, and it's oh actually, no, no, it's not the first no, one. It's, not it's one of the other ones. The first one, yeah. It was um, one. So you're the pirate because you've got your legs inserted in the crack. So you, you've got your peg leg up inside the crack, upside down like this. They're hanging off your leg, and as you're rotating around the lip, rather than trying to sit up and do a whole load of uh, stacks or crimping on the side of the wall and all that. Is that Pete found this really good technique in the corner where you'd sit up into it and then you'd push your arms out like this and palm on either side of the, the sort of the groove or the arete against the wall um, and thus it was named the and flying, the flying pirate. pirate. <laughs> Cause you were flying route, like a pirate. What route did you use the flying pirate on? Uh, we used flying pirate on... Price of evil. Price of evil going around the lip for you. Yeah. And... Uh, Gobbler's. Gobbler's roof. Gobbler's roof. Yeah. I think I think Tom's yet to use the flying pirate. Yeah. Have you used the flying pirate? I'm still a flying pirate virgin. <laughs> yeah. I've tried it out in concept, but I don't like it. <laughs> Doesn't feel very secure. Private pirate, we've used quite a lot on this trip. It's basically when you've got a, um, you're upside, you're inverted in the crack, um, but it's t the crack's too wide for doing a double fist, um, but your bum's on like a back wall, so you get the. Like, say if you're going rightwards, you get a left palm, and then you palm underneath the crack like that. You've got your right leading leg, and then you just, you palm it like that. It's like a pirate. With a hook. With a hook. <laughs> and a peg leg. <laughs> and then I don't know what that's doing. No, that's just private. But that's, pri <laughs> that's private. <laughs> that's the private pirate. There's a whole load of that on Gabriel. Yeah, yeah, Gabriel is a good example. Palm with the left, peg leg with the right, hook with the right. It's like a lever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Travelling pirate is, uh, <coughs> it was originally a concept move, but then we realised we'd actually done one. And essentially it's moving between two pirate moves in a row. So you go from perhaps a flying pirate into um, a, private a private pirate, pirate or even like a flying pirate into an invert <laughs> torpedo. So it's traveling between two different advanced off width techniques. And it's kind of like a little bit of a, a booty that you try and collect <laughs> on your way. Um, and it's one step down from the triple doubloon, which is the ultimate off width move that's yet to be done. Yeah, it hasn't been done. It's is... three, three advanced moves in a row. So you might have the private pirate into the flying pirate yeah. into the invert torpedo. Yeah, and no one's done that no, yet. Just, no, it's not, it's not been done. That's for the next generation. Yeah. We're leaving that for the next generation. We're leaving it for Pee Wee. Be like that. That. Into that. Then... <laughs> yeah. But it, it seems... We... It's like ice skating. Yeah, there, there, isn't, there isn't a route that has three of the advanced techniques in a row, is there? No. Like, you might do a private pirate into a flying pirate into a chicken wing or a stack, but they're just easy. So... The triple doubloon is yet to be done. It's yet to be done. I mean, Invert torpedo. Yeah. Uh, again, how are you going to illustrate? Uh, it's basically where you, well, you kind of invert in the crack upside down, and then you're sitting round into the crack, but uh, none of your other body parts come out. So a leg doesn't come out or anything, or your arms don't come out, and you end up the right way up, and then you chimney to the top. I you have to imagine it like it's a you're, you, as a person, are the torpedo in the crack. Yeah. Like this? And you spin <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> but upside down. <laughs> That's the invert torpedo. <laughs> the torpedo. Enough said about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so smoke in the eye, the concept came from when we were in Italy and we were by the campfire, it was really windy and all the smoke was blowing in our eyes and we were like, ah! <laughs> and it makes your eyes water and it really stings. <laughs> um, and it's like being invert, like an invert, completely invert in the crack, upside down, and you've got upside down chicken wings and you're like, ah! Like that. Yeah. Did you say that? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So you're covering your eyes with your chicken wings because it hurts so much. Yeah, an angry pirate. Tom will explain uh, that. Angry pirate came about on this trip. Um, we, we heard of this other British guy who'd been doing a route on El Cap 
and been in and off with, I think, and been leading. And he'd had his friend five somewhere close to him, I guess, and had fallen off or rested or whatever. And it had smashed out and hit him in the face and knocked him out. So that's where we, that's the called, angry pirate. we coined the angry pirate.